At home, Canadians listened for the voice of their great war correspondent. This is Matthew Halton of the CBC, speaking from Italy. By shortwave radio, his reports came from the heart of the battle. We used to say, and it was true, the German was a good soldier. But that as soon as our chaps got on top of him, he gave up. That's not true here. Here we fight till we kill them. They are Germans, but I admire their guts. I'll say this. I'm very proud because my men are better than the Germans here. Remember, we attack. They defend. But how they defend? Today, I spent several hours in Ortona. If it wasn't hell, it was the courtyard of hell. It was a maelstrom of noise and hot, splitting steel. Our tanks in the square seemed to be ripping the town to pieces. And the enemy's anti-tank shells and mortars were crashing into the buildings everywhere. still in Ortona when it was Christmas. From the killing, the men withdrew by turn to celebrate the day. short, the return to the murderous streets immediate. They called it Little Stalingrad and from their experience here would instruct the Allied armies on the craft of street fighting. The thing to do, they found, was to fight from house to house, blasting their way along through holes blown in walls. The Germans countered mining the houses, and waiting. A battle of dynamite resulted. A cat and mouse game where it seemed no place was safe. Lasted with no pause by day, with uneasy nights of patrol for a full week. On December 28th, the Canadians discovered that the Germans had withdrawn in the night. The ruin of Ortona had not been caused by shell or bomb. This town, they said, had been blown down by hand. Canadians had faced the best the Germans had, and they had beaten these Germans. But in the month of December 1943, 3,000 Canadians were killed or wounded.
is Peter Stolzberg of the CBC reporting from the Italian front. For the dead of Ortona, the bell of its cathedral, the Cathedral of St. Thomas the Apostle tolls. For the Canadians who died in taking the town, and for the dust and ashes of the cathedral itself, the bell tolls. The soldiers of Canada would move on to fight again. For those whose home had been Ortona, the ordeal of war at last was over.